Hey guys, what's up? Today we're looking at how to use the Excel Aged Receivables Dashboard. And in this video, I'm gonna just give you guys an idea uh, of how it's used and quickly just go through at a glance uh, each of the areas in the dashboard. So the first thing that this dashboard is gonna do is it's gonna provide us with customer contact information as well as a bunch of past due uh, invoice information for dollar values and then the uh, categories of aged receivables as well. So if I hit uh, up in the top left hand corner, the select customer number area there, we're gonna see that there's a drop down, and we can change our customer number easily and dynamically and it'll update our dashboard accordingly. So over on the right hand side here, you're gonna see that the aging group with the greatest past due just changed over uh, to some new information. And then again, over on the left hand side, our customer contact information updated as well. Under here, you'll notice that the contact name, the email address and the phone number um, they don't actually have information in them right now. The reason being is because the imported data into our customer info table uh, did not have that information available. So it's it, the, the table and the dashboard is going to update automatically according to whatever is on those um, in that table that you've imported your data to. So if I hit now the down arrow there and we select another customer to show you what it'll look like with actual customer contact information. You'll see that we've we've got Samantha here, the contact name and email address as well as her phone number to contact for that customer. The customer notes is also a section that's in the table, the import table. And then over on the right, you're gonna see past due invoices, the total number of past due invoices, your total past due invoice value, which is great to know. And then the oldest invoice number uh, for that customer and then what the PO corresponding PO number is for that invoice. So again, that's gonna be really inf useful information when it comes to um, talking to a customer and making sure that you collect uh, your money from that customer. So we're gonna scroll over here to the right here. Not scroll over, but we're gonna move over to the right. And then you'll see over on the right hand side, we've got uh, each of the aged receivables categories with a breakdown of how much uh, past due the customer has within each of those uh, date ranges or past due day ranges. Under this area here, you're gonna see the aging group with the greatest past due. You'll see that 66% of the value of past due invoices are 31 to 60 days old or past due. So that's kinda uh, a summary of the information on the left. And that just gives you a quick idea of uh, how delinquent your customer is at any given moment and all depending on what data you have loaded into uh, the table for customer invoice details as well. So you're probably gonna ask yourself over on the right hand side, what, how do the percentages work? Literally, it looks at one to 30 days, uh, 31 to 60 days, 61 to 90 days, and greater than 91 days, it takes that information and the total of that information and then de decides on or based on the values in those fields, uh, does the distribution breakdown of that information and the percentage for each of those categories. So if we hit the down arrow again, I'm gonna look at a customer that does not have any past due invoices. And you'll notice that our customer information is still uploaded or still showing in the dashboard. And then you'll also notice now that the past due invoices, uh, number of past due invoices is equal to zero and that the total past due invoice value is zero dollars. We have no oldest invoice number because there are none, as well as the PO number, there's no reference there. And then you'll see on the age receivables category, there are no values uh, set there. And then on the table, there are no invoices that are past due. So quickly, what you can do is in the header anywhere, you're able to link between each of the tabs on the dashboard by using the quick links in the header. So you say, oh, we can go back to the dashboard, and then now we can go to add customer data from here, from the main dashboard. From here, we can add uh, the customer, the additional customer information that we want to add in. Go back to the dashboard, and then we can go to how to use the dashboard. In this section, obviously right now, I don't have any information yet, but I will be adding just some notes and stuff. So if you do buy the dashboard here, uh, there'll be some information for you to gather and use um, when or refer to when you're using the dashboard if you don't understand how to use it. So we can also scroll between each of the tabs uh, using the headers within there. 
So if you feel like this is something that's useful to you, feel free to purchase it. Or if you have any questions, comments, ideas, uh, or things that you may see that, that would be useful to you, feel free to email me at brad at bradedgar.com. We'll see you next time.